go back on the track. Hey. Thanks for tuning back into my channel. It's your girl Nizzy Mac, and I'm back on the Trizac. Thanks for stopping by, you guys. So I got another synthetic wig review for you guys. I know y'all probably are have heard of this one. It's like real popping all over YouTube land. So yeah, this one is a bop. Um, and if you guys are new here, make sure y'all give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Let me know you're rocking with your girl. In my YouTube journey and while you down there, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever it is that I post, okay? So let's go ahead and jump into this wig review, you guys, so we can talk about it so y'all can get the tea and the deets and all the things about this unit because, girl, I got some tea on this one. This unit was sent to me by samsbeauty.com. They were kind enough to send your girl a unit to review, so that's what we gonna do, okay? So thank you, Sam's Beauty. So let me tell y'all what this is and a little bit about it. This is part of Outre's Perfect Hairline, you guys. This is Laurel. Laurel. Like, she came out, like, around New Year's. Like, in 2020-ish. I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm late to the party, as always. So, yeah. This is Laurel, and I have her in the color 81B, you guys. So Laurel is known for being 13 by 6. She has a fake scalp in there and transparent HD lace, you guys. So all of that holds true. It's 13 by 6. You get parting space to the back of your neck, boy, like damn near. You get <laughs> parting space way to the back of your neck. And um, yeah, so let's talk about let's talk about this unit, y'all. So I showed you guys, um, so I'm showing you guys that you can style this unit two different ways. You can do, you know, whatever you want to do, but I, I did two ways. I did a middle part and a side part, and you can do half up, half down, whatever you want to do, because they give you so much part and space. They are so generous with the part and space. It's ridiculous. So this is a, if you guys are, you know, I don't know which synthetic wig to get and blah, blah, blah. Girl, this is probably the one for you, okay? Let's talk about it, the cap construction. Um, with the cap, you do get, um... okay, I knew I wasn't tripping. I don't think there's no combs in here. Yeah, so you get two combs. This flower keep moving and I'm getting this hair but you get two combs in the side I don't have them combed in so I'm not so I'm like I don't know if this has combs so I don't have them in my scalp or whatever in my hair so yeah you get a comb in the back as well as adjustable straps and this is on a ventilated cap you guys um, so it's like a typical cap construction um, they do have an elastic band inside here also if you're not one to glue her down um, like me I just glued like this this part down like this is really all that's showing, so that's really all that's going. Okay, um, so let's talk about this hair, you guys. I have some pros and some cons on this one. Um, so the pros is the HD lace and the pre-plucked hairline. This hairline is very, very natural. I didn't pluck it. I didn't do anything to it. It comes just like this. So hairline on, t <laughs> on 10. I don't know what I was going to say hairline on 10 the parting space six inches I feel like this is actually seven because it is like oh it's, it's I don't even have enough I don't even have it parted all the way that it can go so they are real generous on the parting space like I said like wow wow um, another pro that I have is um, the, the the layers in this hair the layers are very gorgeous however I am starting to not like units with layers in it which brings me to my cons um i don't really know how much know how to work with layers so i'm kind of like i don't think layers look cute on me especially when they're like real you know voluminous this just makes the hair so big you guys which brings me to my other con is that this is a lot of hair on this unit the hair is so thick y'all the back of my neck is on fire like i'm literally i can't keep my fan on because it messes up with the mic but i cannot wait to get this review over with and cut this fan on because i'm dying this hair is so hot it's not even funny i don't know if it's because it's a lot or if the texture i don't know so the texture on this is it's kind of like a light yakky um so it kind of has those kind of crinkles in it which gives it like a kinky blowout straight texture but like permed 
kinky hair, perm, natural hair, kind of. So it's, it's very like, you know, motions, perm, realness or something. Like, this one is real cute. However, like I said, um, dang it. I keep getting uh, hair in my lip gloss. See, that's why I don't do hair like this because I can't find it. There we go. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I don't really think I like this unit. And that's just my personal preference. She is gorgeous, but I just am like, or maybe I gotta do a different style or something like that. Another con that I have, um, this unit, I would say it's big head friendly, um, but she is just really put, like tugging. And I have my wig grip underneath here, um, but she is just like, she has slid, slid back. And um, yeah, she is just not really, she's big head associate, as my girl Kai says. Like you can get away with her because my edges are not out, but you are like, you really have to tug her down in order to get her to lay. And we don't got time for that. So this one, you got to finesse. If you got a small peanut head, girl, this, is, this will lay flawless on you. But for me, it did not. So I can't call it big head friendly. I'll call it big head associate, okay? I don't know if I didn't mention the shedding. The shedding is unreal on this one. I'm like, wow. I'm pulling out hair, and this is a lot of hair, so I'm pretty sure it's just gonna keep getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And um, yeah, now this one is a little bit on the pricier side because she is a part of that Outre Perfect Hairline collection, and y'all know they be taxing for that collection, okay? Um, I mean, it's worth it for the hairline, um, but as far as these layers, I just cannot get into it. I don't know, I don't know. It's cute, but it's this one ain't for me. This is not a Nizzy wig, okay? Like, y'all y'all will know a Nizzy wig when you see one, and this ain't it. So, <laughs> let me know what y'all think down in the comments. What y'all think of Miss Laurel, Miss Thang? Let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.